attacks. Uh, just uh, tell us about playing in that environment. Uh, it was good. It was good. Um, definitely first, it was a great experience to play in front of that many people. Um, I still feel like Death Valley is better, but I mean, it was definitely a uh, good just experience, kind of the, the traditions that they had, you know, seeing the, them doing the chance all game and seeing the military tradition. It was really, really fun to go out there and come out with a win. Next play, you know, it's always positive energy on the sideline, regardless of how, how good or bad we're doing. Um, it's always just a next play mentality, not focusing on the past, you know, whether the defense is playing well or the offense is playing well. Um, that's something that I really learned about our team since it's still a, a, a young in the season. Um, I learned that we're fighters. And uh, so that was really good to see, you know, regardless of the fact guys just kept playing all our effort. The effort was there all game, I feel like. And uh, regardless of whether we were, you know, on top of things as far as the field play wise, we never stopped playing. Um, I would definitely say, you know, experience is a part of it, you know, definitely because we've been in these situations before. We have a lot of guys who played in a lot of different, you know, um, environments and high end games, I would say, so called. But I feel like it's mainly just because we treat it like another game. You know, it's not we don't really um, see it as a, a college game day, 100,000 100, people. We just see it as, you know, us going out there and trying to be our best, trying to play to a standard. Yeah, no, I had no, no doubt in my mind. I mean, that was a, that was, that was just a okay factor. You know what I mean? Still another play to line up. You know, this, it's just still they got to go for two, regardless of the fact. You know, I feel like I have confidence in our defense, regardless of the, regardless of the situation at hand, that we can go out there and get the job done, and we can still win the game. So, um, yeah, it was no doubt in my mind that we had could 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 get a stop on the next play. You mentioned the, the next play mentality. Does Kayvon really exemplify that? I mean. He he drops the interception the very next play. He gets a dick and ends up. Drop, he dropped multiple interceptions. interceptions. Um, you got to give him a hard time. Yeah, right? yeah, for sure. He dropped about four of them. Um, <laughs> but. Like I said, like you said, man, he he came up with two really really big plays—the one where he um, the fumble and uh, the interception—and I mean that just goes to shows, you know, regardless of the fact that um, however many plays he feel like he left out there on the field, he he was always on to the next one, and him to come back out there and make up make up for it with those two big plays was huge, man. So hats off to him because I know it can be frustrating when you, especially that one where he uh, he dropped the pick and he caught the touchdown for it. That was really really tough on him, but for him to come back and make up for it with those two big plays at the end was huge. When Oh yeah, always, always, always. You know, you let you, anytime you leave some money out there on the table, you know, it's just always just that kind of fact that you kind of mess with them a little bit for it. Does anybody mess with you when you when you mess up? <laughs> oh, always, always. You know, it, it goes both sides, regardless of how old you are, how many um, snaps you done play. You gonna get it if you uh, you uh, left if you uh, messed up or you kind of um, did some dumb stuff out there. You always gonna get it. I don't know if you've got a chance to take a second look at it yet, but how crazy was it at the end there? That so many like big, high-profile plays, and there's Kayvon. He's punching the ball loose, ball's yep. bouncing off him for a touchdown, and he's making the interception. I mean, yep. It's kind of crazy there for that one individual at the end. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely, it, it, and that's what that's what that's something that uh, you know. It, it, can, it can happen like that for a lot of different people because uh, for him to have that many chances just to be a part of so many like just different big plays and, and such critical moments for that one person is really high stress on him. And, you know, we talk about a lot, you know, just talking about the, the scheme of defenses, you know, kind of getting away from uh, from the question, but it kind of answers it. Um, offensive coordinators, they really care about the defensive ends and the safeties because big plays happen outside and deep. So anytime you know, you don't set the edge and the running back runs it outside, that's a big play waiting to happen. Anytime you can't stop the deep ball, the safety, that's a big play waiting to happen. So Kayvon understands that he's going to be in a lot of high stress situations. And that's what I feel like, you know, regardless of whether he makes the play or doesn't make the play, he's always on, for the, on to the next one because he understands that it's going to happen again and he's going to be in a situation again. Um, you mean as a, front, as a defensive line or just overall? As a defensive line, uh, I feel like we played we played decent in the defensive line. I feel like as the game went on in the second half, we definitely we weren't as dominant as we wanted to be. You know, we played we played okay um, in the second half, but 
uh, we didn't play as dominant as we wanted to be. Obviously, because you know, he, at, when the second half came, he really turned it on, just making plays with his feet. Um, obviously, we flushed him out different times, different times, things like that. But the the, job, the goal is to get him down to the ground. So I feel like we definitely can do a better job with that. Kind of hitting home on blitzes, uh, just wrapping him up, uh, different things like that. But uh, hats off to him. He played a great game, man. Dude, uh, he came out and really showed himself. Uh, I wouldn't say it bring us back down. I mean, I don't, I don't feel like we really kind of got that high, but I would definitely say that uh, it definitely it definitely showed us what can just how just how amplified of a, a season that is going to be. Um, we're going to get everybody's best shot, and if you don't come out ready to play, you know you're going to get beat, and we understand that, and we know that you know this won't be the last time we are put in situations like that to come out and play in a game where you know everybody's everybody's watching. It's a big time moment, and you're playing against a good team. So uh, I kind of just it, it kind of just lets us know that okay, like this is the real thing. Like we got a big targets on our back, and we're just going to embrace it, you know, regardless of the fact. And obviously, it was the first game early in the season. We didn't really know what they what they were going to do, offensively or defensively. But it was good to go out there and kind of get in a, a, a dog fight towards the end because it really showed the the, the the mental toughness of our team. You played a good team, tough environment. Quarterback kind of played out of his mind. But you guys expect, I know, to be so dominant. Did you guys come away from that as a defensive unit, maybe a little bit shell shocked that they were able to kind of do some of the things they did to you? Um, not shell shocked. We were more so um, just kind of disappointed on our side, uh, just kind of hoping that we could have put it away in the third and the fourth quarter. Um, obviously, we feel like we played a good first half, you know, holding them to three. What was it three or six points? I can't remember, but not holding them to holding them three points, but. Uh, that second half is, and the second half is, is is such a critical such a critical um time because there's no there's no score less important than than the one at halftime. So we really got to nip it in the bud in the second half. I would say, man. So just getting just getting that experience, and I would I would say that yes, we were disappointed, but we definitely were happy that we came out with the win because at the end of the day, we never stopped fighting, we never stopped playing, and we, that that um, two point conversion stop was really really big for us as a defense. Uh, we'll see. I mean, that was. I mean, we'll we'll see. I mean, I I've had experiences with it um, last year, but you know, I may, it might be to a different level this year, just because we feel like we're a, a better unit than we were last year. But uh, we'll see. Um, definitely, it was some some calls out there I wish that we could have got. But hey, I mean, hats off to them. They had a they had a good um, scheme. I would say to kind of hold hold us back as a defensive line. You know, a bunch of different protections, uh, chip, chipping, uh, maxing it up, uh, slide protection, stuff like that. So they did a good job, I would say. Um, but yeah, I mean, obviously, the refs ain't gonna make every call. They, I feel like they definitely missed some. Kayvon, Kayvon said he hopes teams out there that can pass and try to attack them and use the secondary as a weakness. So what's your confidence level at with those guys back right there? I have full confidence in those guys. Obviously, you know, people feel like um, people feel like they don't they don't they don't really know what they can do because it's it's a it's a young it's a young group back there. But when you get past the starters, but I have full I see the way they work every day in practice, and I know the talent level that they have, and and and, and I and I hope that too. I hope people take them as a as a as a weakness of our defense because that'll just enhance their game even more because people don't understand how competitive those guys are, and they really want to go out there and prove themselves every day. That kind of game be kind of a coming of age moment for that unit back there in the secondary. Oh yeah, definitely. Because uh, anytime you go against a guy like a a Jimbo Fisher, who's a a really really good play caller and is known for being a, like an offensive guru, and then he's going to challenge those those the secondaries because you know when they max it up with the protection and they running those deep posts, those deep routes all game, it's going to and when and they have good receivers, um, it's going to be a challenge for your secondary. And uh, I definitely feel like. You know, at times we, we, we played well and at times we didn't play so well. But you know, it's a learning experience and it's early in the season. I'm not I'm not I'm not worried or anything about our secondary. I feel like they, they play well and obviously everybody has plays they want to get back to, but um, at the end of the day they came up they came up big for us uh, when we needed them. Do you think you guys are gonna start seeing a lot more screens thrown on you the way he was kinda of getting the screens on you? Oh yeah, he would. He did a yeah. He would. Um, that running back, those running back screens, those H angle screens, uh, those things, they was critical for them. Um, I would say definitely see more screens and boots. I would say yeah, those are kind of good neutralizers as far as you know, uh, stopping people from being so aggressive. So definitely.
what did, what did your looks for when you because I remember Coach Sweeney saying you, they were kind of disguising their looks on that. Yeah. But what do you look for, Stephen? And that's what's so hard about it. You you can't really look for it because you're so focused on, you know, your individual matchup. It's more so as you kind of feeling it. So, you know, when you feel an offensive lineman not really blocking you, that's kind of what it is. You don't really see it too much because when you're rushing the passer, your eyes is always on the quarterback. It's kind of just like you see the offensive lineman in your peripheral vision. You know what I mean? So really, when you feel them um, not really trying to block you, you can't really just assume that your pass rush is really that good. You know, you kind of got to just feel them um, releasing out to go block for the running back. So that's what I was. It's more of a feel of the game, and it comes with reps and getting uh, getting used to it. Clearly, there's obviously a, a big storm in the Atlantic. It may not happen here, but you may have. Friends, family, yeah. who may be in the way. Yeah. I, it's not new that this happens, but how do you keep from worrying about that too much when you have to? Yeah, definitely. I got family in Virginia. I hear it's supposed to hit um, North Carolina, yeah. Virginia. So I got, and I'm from Richmond, Virginia. So I, I, I got to talk. I talked to my mom last night. Um, she don't really know too much yet about where, where is the storm going to hit as far as if it hits Richmond. But uh, she's definitely worried. She might come down here earlier. Um, I don't know how much of the storm is going to get here. We're supposed to get some type of rain. I'm, I'm, I'm assuming, but um, it's definitely, it's definitely something you got to keep your eyes on. Something that you could be worried about. But um, I feel like. My family's. I'm very close to my family. They'll, 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 we have place. We have family all over the country, so I feel like we can relocate and get we'll back. Find yeah, we'll, we'll find a dry spot somewhere. Yeah. A couple of big plays by uh, Justin Foster on Saturday. Just as one of the veteran leaders of the team, what have you kind of seen about his progression and him kind of trying to, you know, all of a sudden reach up to his potential? Shoot, uh, my boy Mater. Uh, it's been a long, it's been a long journey for that one. Um, dang, y'all don't know. He came in so raw and just so. Uh, so tentative with just how he played. And to see him go out there and just, I think it was first play out there he got the sack. And to see that, that was huge for me. Um, just as a as a, as a a big brother, just to see him go out there and have success and uh, get a fumble recovery and get that sack, that was huge. I'm still mad though he missed a tackle for loss. He didn't get that. So still got a lot to work on. Yeah. Clearly another young defensive, Xavier uh, Thomas. Do you know that play where he ended up in coverage? What on that oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He, well, it was okay. So he he was supposed to have that back, ha, supposed to have the back at the back hot release, but uh, because of the formation, he wasn't supposed to actually take the back. But he didn't really know that. I guess it was a tough read on him. So just when in doubt, he just took the back. Um, terrible coverage. I'm happy the ref threw the, the, the ref should have threw the flag. I mean, it was it was it was a ter it was clearly a pi. So. Um, just bad coverage by him. We we, we coach better than that. Um, so yeah. o o terrible. The game for him, though. I mean, it seems, I think his first snap in there, he got in the backfield in a hurry. And yeah, yeah. His athletic ability, being able to. I mean, he was still running step for step. With the yeah, yeah. I mean, y'all. I mean, y'all can see. I mean, that just shows how we recruit. And he was, he first play in there, like you said, he went in and he countered, got a got a good hit on the quarterback. Um, so, I mean, he, he was ready for his opportunity, I would say, and definitely uh, the plays that he did give, he maximized those things. And just kind of just kind of get him a little bit, just get him some more reps. Uh, hopefully he does well in practice this week, and that'll get that'll get him another opportunity to get on the field and get some more reps. So we'll see, man. It's a battle every week because, you know, uh, a guy, a guy, a guy going into a game can can know can know about how much he's gonna play. It's all it's all based on practice. And Coach Sweeney preaches that all the time. You know, you you competing for your job out there in practice throughout the week. And uh, he had a good week of practice last week, so he got went out there, had some good reps, uh, put him in late in the fourth quarter for a couple snaps uh, when it was a big passing down. They offense and they offense need to score. So hopefully he can keep progressing and keep practicing hard, working hard, and just see him keep progressing and going like this. So it'll be big.